I'm gonna make this little video. It's gonna be about how to install ridge cap. After you finish, well, after I finish the the shingles, I don't I don't cut them like one by one. I usually throw a chuck line, I snap a line, and then I cut them. I usually uh, just overlap them on the other side. See, like I did here. I started from left to right, so I started on this side and I overlap it on this side, overlap it on both sides. And that way I go faster and then later I just throw a chuck line and then I and then I, I cut him. You see how Mauro is cutting him? One by one, he's following the line. You see it? This is the line that I snap and then uh, I just cut in it. And right here on the ridge, I usually leave this uh, piece of shingle like overlapping on the other side. And always measure your ridge if it's gonna cover, you know, the this black uh, this black thing in the middle. If it's gonna cover it, then then don't cut it. If it doesn't cover, then just add another piece of shingle here, like, and then so you can uh, so 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 you won't see the 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 top part of the shingle. You, you're supposed to see the white thing only, the white part of the shingle. Okay, and then I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get ready to install my ridge. See, he's done. Now I'm gonna install my ridge. I usually put one ridge here and one ridge on the on the bottom, and I usually follow this this inner this inner cut of the ridge. So when I put my ridge, so you so you don't see the line. This this over, he has about like half inch. Take it on this side and then have like a like half inch uh, a thinner on the on the on the back side. So I follow this line and then so so you so you don't see the line and then you see the ridge is straight. Some people they just guide themselves for the with the top of the ridge. I don't do that because like sometimes you know the the roof has like sagging and if you follow that sagging your ridge is gonna come off awful. You know, it's gonna come out awful and then you won't see like a straight. These are little details, you know, that are gonna look your job, you know, make, uh, it's gonna make it look better. Not, I mean, even though if it doesn't leak, I mean, but sometimes people, they pay attention to the details. Not a lot of people, but those who pay attention to the details, they, they're gonna look at your ridge, they're gonna look at your piping, and stuff like that, and uh, and they're gonna start complaining about it, you know? So, so take your time and cut the shingles, you know, at the end, snap a line, Snap a line on the ridge and follow just the line. I'll show you how. And then when you got your thing, you have to use your coil nails. This is one inch nails, one inch coil nails. See, one inch. It says coil nails, one inch, one inch coil nail. And these are one and a half inch coil nails. You see the difference? I'll show you. You see? The one inch coil nails are for the field shingles and the one and a half inch are for the ridge cap. Okay, whenever you have like one layer of uh, of roof and then you remove it, so you only need like one and a half inch uh, nails for the ridge. Uh, you don't need two inch or two inch and a half unless you have like two, three layers or unless you go over wood shakes, then you, have, you can use even uh, ADs. After you mark your line, you know, for the ridge, like this uh, usually uh, I'll you know like set up the uh, the ridge like that you know like in little bundles and I just pull them and nail them pull them and nail them okay I'll show you hopefully you like it Ahí está. Ahí está.
And then when I get to the uh, to the top of the the hip, I just overlap on on the other side, and then this one is gonna cover like this, like this. See it like that. So this is not bridge glass. This is a uh, rapid ridge. So it's a thicker. This is rapid ridge. See, it's thicker and uh, and it has like a double layer. And right here, there's like uh, it's double. The double layer is folded, so it's four layers on the top, and it's so thick. And uh, to me, it's better than rich glass because the rich glass usually after five years it goes bad. But this one, it's uh, it's real. It's rapid ridge. It's a, mo it's a modified rapid ridge. See, and this is a uh, this is one side. It's finished. See it. This is the other side. Okay, hopefully you like it. So take your time and see. You you cannot see the uh, the line that I snap because it's hidden underneath the ridge. You see it? It's all the way in. So you cannot see the line because it's hidden underneath this uh, overlap. After I finish my hips, I I put the first uh, ridge, you know, on the ridge, and then I find the center of the of the top ridge and then that's what I'm gonna join this side and that side uh, on tile you usually follow like one direction on when it's shingles usually join it like in the middle see the, this side I'm gonna finish it in the middle that side I'm going to finish it right there in the middle okay that's how you do shingles uh, you can do it on one side if you want to but it doesn't cosmetically look nice 99.9 uh, .9 of the roofers out there they do it the way I do it but you can, you, you can follow your own pattern if you're, if you're, if it's your own house, you can do it any, any way you want to. Okay, but this is the way we do it. We do the hips first and then we start with the ridge. The ridge overlaps the hips right here. Like this, it overlaps like this, see it? See, overlaps, boom. Overlaps at least for like two inches, two and a half inches. The very corner, that side too. And then in the center, I'll show you how I finish it. And this is how I finish the... Uh... Mauro! This is how I finish the... The ridge. See, I put a piece uh, to join the two sides. This is how it looks. You see the one in the middle? And I put the nails on top, and those nails I'm gonna seal them with uh, not silicone. You have to use some roof cement, white or elastomatic or even tar. But don't use the um, silicone because silicone doesn't stick on shingles. Okay, guys. Hopefully you like it. And this is the way I install bridge. Okay. You can do it your own way. I mean, but I just do it for. The ridge I think is the most important thing on the roof because it's, everybody's gonna see it. Nobody's gonna see your crooked lines. These are my lines. There's like a little bump right there so the lines can look kind of crooked but they're not. I mean I try to keep them. This is a, a little tiny bitty job that I did in uh, Mon Duarte, California. I'm done with the ridge installation. This is the way it looks. I also cut my corners, you know, where the the first shingles, if you don't cut it, then you got the ears, you know, dropping down and it looks ugly. Not now, like in years. There's some tips, you know, that it'll make you look your job, your finished job uh, better. Right here, I have like a kind of like a dip right there. So I do two, two, two chuck lines. Also, on the first ridge, you know, that overlaps the hip, the, the hip I usually use a roof cement. You see it? This one in five days, you won't be able to take it out. And the other thing, this is my little flat roof. I did it yesterday. I went underneath the shingles about 18 inches at least. And I painted my pipes. You see? So it looks kind of decent. Now, so this is the, the smallest job I've done this year. Actually, like in years. It's about 900 squares of the shingles and about one square of the flat roof and this is the way I join in my shingle in the middle you see it I mean my ridge cap 
So this is how I do my hips. Okay guys, that's what I do. This, shit, this roof has to be here for the next 30 years. So I have to do a good job and uh, I have to think that I'm gonna live here and then something goes wrong, you know, it's gonna be me.